Let me just carefully shake that a little bit. That should be enough. I don't shake my games more than I just did, so uh, because I take good uh, care of my games. Hey everyone, this is Tatakos, and today I'm back with another unboxing. Um, I actually don't film as many unboxings anymore, but currently I'm receiving a lot of new games that I think are worth unboxing. Um, so this is Red Rising, the Collector's Edition. And um, yeah, this is a game that I was interested in since the very, very beginning, because um, I really love fantasy realms and this game pretty much scratches the same itch right um it's just a little bit nicer um it is more like board game less card game and also i think it has a few other mechanisms that are quite interesting um and also you can play it solo right i mean that's like always a bonus and um i mean so many games they do produce high quality board games i mean my most favorite game <laughs> this is so my game right wingspan so um this is why i was really interested in that i just didn't uh I just didn't uh, order it for a while because I wasn't sure that I wanted to have it in English or in German. But um, I see more and more reports on the solo mode being really solid and good, like in most Stormire games. So I thought, like, you know, I'm going to get it in English. So I, I will probably play it solo mostly. So, yeah, um, it's also the for sprinting still, which is pretty cool. And I got the Collector's Edition. There are some voices that the Collector's Edition does have issues. But the thing that the Collector's Edition has issues with, they are not that bad for me. Because, like, the card holders seem to be quite flimsy, people say. But I like, my, like to hold my cards in my hands. So that doesn't really affect me. And um, the cubes... Um, the colors of the cubes aren't that great to distinguish for people who have maybe slightly impaired vision. That's what I've read, but I don't. I'm not one of those people either. Uh, my friends aren't either, so I thought like it should be fine um, because this looks really nice, right? Um, so yeah, let's unbox this. So first of all, the cover is great, and we have like um, different things like these. This is like a little bit more smooth here, like the colors, like in but in between and here is like a little like like a linen finish kind of thing and down here as well so we have like different um feelings here this is like embossed the golden collector's edition thing so it's really nice this feels really premium and also here like the sides look pretty regular but the collector's edition thing is unboxed and like sh like golden shiny this looks nice this is something that looks really nice i've heard that some people don't like the cover too much but i love it i think it's a great cover it's not the best cover ever, but it doesn't have to be, right? It's really nice. So let's open that and see what awaits us inside. So here's nothing special. Wonderful. Let me just put that aside here. You know what? Let me just put that someplace else. Okay. Oops. So we have the rulebook here. And just like the Wingspan rulebook, we have like this really nice textured finish again here. Really thick pages. This is a wonderful rulebook. Um, all in black. Nice. Okay, um, we actually have... Oh, that's the... The Automa has his own rulebook. Well, just like in Wingspan. Okay, so let's see here. So we have Overview and Goal. We do have the components. This is actually based on a book series, right? I have not read that one. Um, I might have to read it at some point because, I mean, I like reading anyway. Um, another trivia about me. But um, I just don't find the time to read a whole lot anymore. And that would maybe get me back into reading. Um, so, and here we have the setup. Oh, nice. Uh, I just love that. You see, like, the entire setup here, and then uh, everything is, like, labeled with numbers, so you know exactly what to do. That is wonderful. Okay, and then here we have the gameplay. Um, yeah, we have a few images here. Oh, yeah, lots of pictures, a lot of explanations, anatomy of the character card. So, yeah, um, I'm not wondering. So, it's no, no surprise to me that... The um, rule book is laid out really well. And there's not a lot. That's already it. Wow. So this game is m much simpler than I thought. Yeah, I think like the complexity is about like between parks and wingspan. So it's like um, the lower medium complexity level. So that is great. So yeah, maybe I will actually look at that today. Really cool. And also we have like uh, how to play videos and everything. That is wonderful. Okay, cool. Yeah, actually, this looks wonderful. Really great. Um, and also we have like the Automa, Tol, Tol Automa, Tol Automa, Tol Automa, okay. Interesting. Um, so components, there is actually Automa cards again. That is good. 
And then here we have the setup, effects, how the automa takes a turn and selects a location, everything with images again, and the arrows, examples, very, very good. And then scoring at the end. So let me see, is there actually, do you actually win? Yes, automa gains points, and you need to, you win by having more points, I suppose, right? Uh, looks like it. Which is good, because that means it's not a score-based game. You can actually win or lose, and then you have difficulty levels here. That is nice. Cool. Very great. I like that. All right, so we have a lot of baggies. Okay. Do we need a lot of baggies? I thought we have an insert. Well, let's see. Uh, okay, and then here we have cards. That's for the factions or locations. Well, it says Jupiter and Mars, so probably... Um, probably locations. Oh, Diana, I like that. Like the uh, goddess of the hunt. Uh, very nice. Ceres, Apollo, Minerva, Mars, and Jupiter. Okay, really cool. Yeah, really nice. This is really nice artwork. I love that. And also like the punch board here. Let me just take one out. Yeah, it's like... Inter okay. It looks a little bit different than uh, most punch board because there's like this black in the middle and then gray at these sides. Interesting. Yeah, okay, cool. But it feels good. Nice. And then this seems to be the board. I don't know if I can fit it on screen now, but let's see. And of course, I mean, I will of course feature that on the channel at some point, right? I don't know if I would make a review, but I will definitely do a playthrough. Okay, and here, like, you put all these, like, here we put, like, the cards in here. There's the deck. Here we count up something. And here's also, like, some tokens or whatever. And here we have, like, these tokens, like, in this, uh, I know, it's like a fox, I guess, in this fox-shaped bowl that we will look at in a moment. And I think, yeah, there's also some artwork on the other side. Wow, this looks wonderful. I, I, I appreciate things like that. You never see that during the game, right? But I just appreciate that attention to detail. That is wonderful. Really cool. And it looks kind of cool. I'm, yeah, I think I will have to read the book series, actually. Okay, cool. And then here, okay. Then we have that here that kind of keeps everything in place, which is wonderful. I have heard that the tokens kind of fall around everywhere, but I mean, we have like this thing here at the top. I don't know. I will have to figure that out, whether there are issues or not, but I'll see about that. Okay, then we have a scoring pad here. Really cool. Are they double-sided? Yes, they are. That is wonderful. Um, but there's no Automa scoring pad, so I guess we can just take the... The, this one here for the Automa game as well. Very cool, nice artwork, just very clean design, like that. Then we have like a huge die here. Ooh, okay, cool. Yeah, it feels, it feels good. Kind of heavy, nice, very, very cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, sure, cool. Um, and then, I don't know what to, but you know what, let's take a look at the problematic things first. So this here is the card holder. You know what? Let me just test that. I mean, that's what the unboxing is for, right? So we will also take a look at a few of the cards because you want to take a look at those anyways, right? Oh, come on, come on. There. Okay. Now I'm not able to open anything again. Okay. It's not like the best prerequisite for an unboxing video, right? Not being able to open things, but well, it just will take a little bit longer. Uh, just grab yourself a cup of tea while I open this here. There we go. So these cards, yeah, they, they feel great as usual. Yeah, I like, yeah, they have a really good thickness. And they have a linen finish, they look great. And yeah, they look great. Like the artwork's really cool. It's a really clean art design. Very sci-fi like. I mean, it's a, it's a sci-fi thing, right? But that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool. I, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the character designs too much. But, I mean, that's just the universe, right? But, like, the art style is great. And I, I like this, that everything is that colorful. I just like that a lot. I don't know if there's, like, a meaning behind that, right? If it's important for them to be that colorful. And then here we have something else. Uh, I don't know. Oh, and then we have, like, the player reference cards all in different colors as well. Oh, that is, that is fun. That is a fun thing. And here, I don't know, A, B, C, D. Either it's an aid for you learning the alphabet or 
it's something else. Okay, so um, before we continue with the unboxing, let's just see, because I've heard that the card holders like fall over a lot. Not really. Well, I mean, the cards fall down if you, of course, that's normal, but the card holders, I don't know, it's pretty sturdy. You can only see it from the top now, but it's actually pretty sturdy. I don't know, like the cards rather fall out, but the card holder is pretty sturdy. Yeah, it can fall over, but you will have to really like punch your cards. Like it, even then it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't really see like the issue most people have. I don't know, it's pretty sturdy actually, but I wouldn't want that anyways. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody, I hold, hold the cards in my hands. I want to feel the cards, right? I'm a tactile kind of guy. One of the many, many reasons I love board games and I want to hold them in my hand. I just want to put them here, right? I mean, I don't know. But, okay, it's cool. Man, these card holders are, are nice. They're really sturdy. They they actually hold the cards quite well. So I don't quite get the get the issues here, but maybe um, during play, it's a different story. Okay, and then here, yeah, that's all those. Let us take out the insert just for a second to see if everything is... No, there's nothing under there. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at the rest of the cards. Oh, that's actually a thicker stack, yeah. Um, so let's take a look at those. Uh, where do I, yeah. Oh, okay, that was easier to open. Wow, ah, these are the golden cards. And they actually have like this shiny um, application here. Can you see it? Yeah, you can even see it in the camera. Look at how shiny this is. Oh, this looks great. This kind of reminds me of Codex Naturalis, um, another game I will feature on the channel, hopefully soon, um, because they have like these golden applications as well, these cards, and this looks amazing. Cool. Nice. And then here we have more cards. Yeah, really cool. I like the designs. The backs are all the same, exactly. Um, so... Yeah, this is a hand management game, just like Fantasy Realms and also now Marvel Remix. Again, I'm really interested in Marvel Remix could actually maybe take the spot of Fantasy Realms, but I haven't played it yet. But from what I've seen, it looks really cool. Okay, and then we have that fox kind of thing here, right? As I said, that you put like in the on the game board. And this is, I think, where you put these in here. These, uh, these jewels, gems, I don't know how they're called in this universe. Um, here, these look really cool. Nice. And they also feel quite good. They are similar to like, uh, like jewels in games like, uh, Golem, like Century Golem Edition, for example. Um, yeah, just way smaller. And then you, oops, that might be a little bit loud. And then you put them all in here. Nice. And you can just take them out easily here. Really cool. And it's nice that there is actually a spot on the game board for that. So that is wonderful. Really cool. And then you just close it up again and put it back like in here in the insert. Oh, it doesn't look that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Look at this. Love that. Really cool. Um, all right. And then we have a first player marker, I suppose, or maybe a round tracker that is actually heavy. That should be metal. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. That is really heavy. Nice. That feels good. That feels really good. Nice. Does that one have a spot as well? Probably here. Yeah, look at that. Uh, let me just tilt that so you can see here. Right? So you just put it in here. And then you can take it out quite easily again. That's pretty cool. Because usually you just lie them down and insert. And this one actually goes like this. And this is where we can put the die. Like this. Now let me find a nicer side. The uh, Let's... Well, actually the yellow one looks pretty cool. Like this. I don't know what that is, but let's see. We will find out here. And here we have like all kinds of tokens. Oh, and even more cards. Let's take a look at the cards first. Odd even. Okay, so we are counting. Uh, we, we are learning the alphabet. And also we are categorizing numbers into odd and even. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't think that is a game used in school. So let's see... What that is about odd even location selection oh that's the automa okay and these are the automa cards okay i need to be honest like everything looks and feels great so far these look a little bit bland somehow these look a little bland the automa cards not bad 
in a way and not bad but they look a little bland like a like a little bit like a prototype but that is fine that is okay okay and then here we have like all the tokens let me put the cards back so we can look at how so you will not be able to put them in here sleeved oh so there we go you will not be able to put them in here sleeved no because this is all full. Well, actually, we put the tokens in here. So we could put them in sleeve because there's more room here. Okay. So let's take a look at the tokens. These are actually all metal as well. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look here first. We have like this moon. This golden metal moon. And well, now we know what this is for, right? But this looks... This feels really great. And there's like this little, this little thingy here, right? Where you put in your finger so you can just take up the moon like this really cool love that nice they so my games really know how to uh how to produce the game so well oh I, I hope these stay in place here right i have read that these kind of fall out so i might have to leave them in the baggies i don't know wow they, these are heavy like really heavy tokens wow these are heavy here, this is some kind of player marker, I suppose, and these are like just cues, but these just feel amazing. I I would have never thought that metal tokens are something that I needed, but, well, I don't need it, but these feel amazing, and they look great. Great, great coloring. Although, some people have said that the colors look too similar, so let's see. These here, yeah, well, yeah, I can see it. They do look very similar. That could pose an issue, for sure. Okay, I can understand what they what they are saying. Wow, these are really heavy. But I think you can also like buy other tokens in the store, my game store. In case you don't like those, you can like buy some that are colored differently. But then again, I also have a lot of a lot of wooden cubes, so that is fine as well. So what I'm wondering here, look at this. This is like all like recessed here, right? So um, these could actually fall out. Or do you put anything every anything on top? I don't know if you put anything on top. I will have to see that in just a minute. All right, and then all of these others. Well, I will not put them all. Oh, let me put a few of them in. I mean, these all feel the same, but they all look really great. Oh yeah, and this these these look kind kind of similar as well. Yeah, okay, I kind of see what the people are saying now. These bags even feel great. Um, see here, yeah, they are different. They are different. Here you can see when the light shines on them that they are definitely different, right? This is more shiny, this is not, but still, they do look similar. Yeah. I can kind of get what the people are saying. Like in low light, I mean, I can, I see the difference here, but in low light, yeah, that could pose an issue. Then we have these nice, like, teal colored ones, and then we have, yeah, some greenish, bluish, bluish green kind of thing here like that and then we would have everything in here so let me now now we looked at all the components so we're pretty much done with the unboxing but what i want to see now is when i put this on here yeah then this can all fall out is there anything that we can put on there that is kind of strange right i mean we have these cards here these cards go in here as well probably yeah they just go in here the game board goes on the on the very top here so i i really think we do have that issue of the tokens falling out that is n well or do I, have, I have to put it this way doesn't really matter right doesn't really matter which way i put it and these fall out see it oh that definitely seems to be like a little design flaw um, or maybe I'm missing something. So don't... Wait, wait, no, no. Oh, no, wait, you put these here as well. You put the book here as well. I forgot about that. Um, and then... We put the cards in here, whatever. And then we close this up here. Doesn't matter which way. Yeah, probably this way, right? Doesn't really matter. So can they still fall out? Well, let's just put everything in here. Let's put the board on here. This is nice. The board really fits well here. And then we would have the cards in there. Um, and also like the rule books. Let me just close this up here. 
let us do the test, you know? So, because that was another thing that people complained about. So, let me just carefully shake that a little bit. That should be enough. I don't shake my games more than I just did, so... Uh, because I take good uh, care of my games. So, let's see what happened here. Yes, they fall out. Oh, that is a design. That, oh, that is not good. Oh, see that? Yeah, they all fall out. Ooh. Well, then I will have to put them in the baggies, but my problem is, do the baggies fit well in here? Not really. I will have to figure... Oh, and the moon also fall out, falls out. Oh, no, that is not good. You see, there's even one in here. Oh, oh, oh. So, I mean, of course, I mean, you don't... Then you don't have to store, store them vertically, right? But this game is actually stored vertically here at home. And also this fall... Oh, everything falls out here. Hmm. If you own the game and you have the special edition here, like the collector's edition, please let me know if I'm doing anything wrong here, right? If there's some way to... Oh, look at this. If there's some way to mitigate all of that, because... Oh, I don't like that too much, but I will have to fix that um, after I have recorded... After I have finished recording this video, because I don't want to bore you with putting everything together again. But... At the end, this is my, or this concludes my unboxing of Red Rising, the Collector's Edition. I really enjoy the art style. I enjoy the components. Everything is done really well. There's almost nothing I can say against this game from the first look, except for the story, right? So, I mean, it's not a problem if you just score it horizontally, but vertically, it does not work. Uh, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. I will have to find some workaround there. I don't know what I'm going to do. So if you have any idea, if you own this thing, let me know. I will also look online if I find any solutions to that. There must be some way to be able to store that vertically, right? There must be some way. Um, because I really want to store this vertically with all my other games. Um, so, yeah. I will show you my shelves at some point. I haven't done so yet. But apart from that, yeah. Really cool. I like what I've, I'm seeing here, really cool components. Looking forward to playing this. I hope I will enjoy this game. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I want to thank all of you for your support. Like when you like, comment on uh, my videos and get in touch with me, that is great. Especially I want to thank my patrons who are generously supporting me on Patreon. Also a huge shout out to Thakano, who is currently my biggest supporter. Thank you so much for that. If you would also like to support me, why don't you head over to my Patreon page. You will find the link in this video description and then you can take a look at all the tiers I have come up with. And apart from that, I'm always happy for a like, a comment, maybe even a subscription, and also you joining my Discord server and having fun over there with my little community. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the very next video. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and cheers.